All right, thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. We're doing one case of Donra Soccer, case break number 13. If you're interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Simply search Soccer Breakers FC. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that little button down there. Uh, it says subscribe. Uh, also, check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. Not a lot of stuff on the website right now. We got a couple of finest breaks up there. I will be putting more stuff on the website in the next few months, uh, working on that. Uh, also, follow us on Instagram. Uh, all right, before we get started, we've got to do this 10 spot, 10 winner random. We randomize those 10 names, match them up to that list. So here we go. Uh, good luck to everyone. Good luck, Trent. I think you got five of the 10 spots, so hopefully you do well. All right, there we got Trent on the bottom, Trent on top. After the random, we're going to cut and paste onto that list right there. So good luck. We roll the dice. We re-roll snake eyes. Otherwise, we go with it. We're going six times. Six times on the randomizer. Good luck. We are going five and one, six. Six times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sixth and final, six. Trent, Trent, save freedom. Gabriella, Dan, Trent, Brad, Trent, Trent, Chris. All right, Trent, you got good luck. Real Madrid and Bayern, good luck. Uh, Save Freedom, you got USA Men. Gabriela, you got Portugal, good luck. Dan, you got Germany. Trent, you got Spain and Valencia. Good luck with that. Brad, you got Atletico. Trent, you got Colombia and Monaco. Chris, uh, sorry, man, you got the Aussies. All right, let me print that out. Uh, I'll give you guys a few minutes. It'll take a few minutes for me to open this. Uh, anyway, uh, Trent, I think someone's interested in your Monaco. Uh, there are your teams, guys. All right, and here are the teams that were purchased. Here are the teams that were purchased. USA Ladies, Servando, Trent, you got Juve, Mariela, Barca, Chris, Brazil, Sergio, welcome back. After a long hiatus, we got Sergio back in our breaks, uh, PSG, uh, Austin, you got Argentina, Tommy, you got England, Michael, you got France, uh, KC, you got Dortmund, Sergio, you got Italy and Inter, uh, Barundi, Croatia, Wallace, welcome, you got the Netherlands, Cesar, Mexico, Jerry, Napoli, Casper, Denmark, Juan, you got Porto, Nick, Man City, Ryan, Belgium, Ricardo, Sporting. Good luck to all. Good luck, good luck. Let's hope it's a sick case. Hopefully I can open it without hurting anyone. Oh my goodness. So heavy. It's like ridiculously heavy. have my Wheaties before I open this case.
is that. Make sure I have. Ah, you know what I don't have enough of, guys? I don't think I do. Alright, give me one minute, guys. I forgot to grab top loaders for this. Uh, give me a minute. Um, be right back, and we're going to break this. I'll give you guys a minute to make any trades. I don't know if uh, anybody wanted to do a trade or buy. I don't know if you want to sell your teams or something. Anyway, uh, I will be right back. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, folks. We got top loaders. All right, here we go. Good luck, good luck. Stocks. Sorry, Kenny. I guess uh, it's holding on to Monaco. And this, I only ship hits, numbered cards, uh, insert rookies, not base rookies, insert rookies. Uh, yeah, I do the insert rookies, also the, whatever, the, what are they called, optic rookies, I do ship those. away I got nothing else to do other than open these cards not going anywhere for the next two hours I'm not sure if you guys made a deal or not, but uh, anyway, if you do, let me know. Let's 
Ricky. Insert. There's Optic Rookie. All right, there we've got uh, Australia Rogic to fifty, two of fifty. Oh, Borlo, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Autograph, Morgan Bryan, U.S. Women's National Team, Road to France. Morgan Bryant. Tell us. Another red, Busquets, Barca, thirty four of fifty. Rookie Vickers. Uh, no, Fook, I'm not sure what you're asking because every break is different. Every random is different. There's, you know, I'm not sure $49 for one spot of what. Junior, rated rookie. That's the problem is you ask, you can't, you know, you have to join the group. So in the group, every post has different prices. So I'm not sure when you say $49 for one spot, $49 for one spot of, of what? You know, like we had a random for this break. It was $45 a spot, but there were only certain teams in that random. So it just depends. Uh, it depends on the product. This break is sold out already. Obviously, we started already. But if you join the Facebook group and you look at each post that I post, every post explains what uh, kind of break it is. So if it's Donruss, you got to see the posts. There's two kinds of posts. One is just by, by your team. The regular posts, every team is priced differently. For example, Germany will have a price in front of it. Uh, to be exact, Germany in this break was $59. So if you wanted Germany, you would say, I want Germany. You send $59. All Germany cards would be yours. That's typically how it works. But at the end of the break, if let's say there's 10 or 11 teams left that have not been sold, Typically what I do is I set up a random. I, For most products, I discount it a little bit. I can't discount it on all products. But on some products, I discount it, you know, three, four dollars a spot. And so I say 10 spots, $45 a spot. Everybody gets a team. To 50. Aryan Robin Byron. And then in that situation, you might get lucky and get, you know, pay $45 and get a $79 team. You could get unlucky and pay $45 and get a $15 team. You know, it just depends on uh, where you land. Uh, Niguez, Spain. Anyway, yeah, if you join the group, uh, if you see a post, if you have a certain question about that post, just type under the post and... Either myself or usually one of the other guys will answer it for you. It's pretty simple once you get a hang of it. Napoli. The only thing to remember is make sure if you do take a spot, you have to send payment within one hour after taking your spot uh, to make sure you get it. Because if you take a spot and leave and don't send payment, then you, you don't get the spot. Valencia, Jose Luis Gaia. Yeah, also, if you want, you can also go to the website. There's a couple breaks up there. 
and just click on you know it's just like going to Amazon and shopping you can pick what team you want put it in your checkout bin and check out with it pay for it and then the team is yours but unfortunately I've been a little lazy about uh, promoting the website so uh, there are not a whole lot of breaks on the website unfortunately Real Madrid Rafael Varane but I'm hoping to remedy that situation I don't know for whatever reason you know the website breaks don't fill very well same product I put it on the website it takes like two weeks to fill I put it on Facebook it fills in a day you know which is a bummer because the website really does make my life easier uh, Rakitic Barca 7 of 50 eight more spots for nobility oh yeah I did put nobility up guys Jaden Sancho so if you guys want to break that tonight if we fill it I shall break it first autograph goes to Portugal well second autograph actually first male autograph I should say Fabio Coentrao Portugal Portugal Let's see who had Portugal Portugal uh, Gabriel Gabriel Ingo Gabriel congrats There's Busquets. Sexist. <laughs> Website breaks greater than Facebook. Break. Yeah, my cousin's my like IT person. She keeps yelling at me. She's like, why do you keep putting breaks on? Facebook, you're supposed to put them on the website. I'm like, I tried. Man, we got a lot of these numbered to 50 this time. These usually are not that easy to hit. Yeah, I know. It does. It does. You know, for a while we were hot because I forget, like, there was a good product that was on the website and we were filling it, like, pretty regular. I forget it was NT, like, when NT first came out, I think, when it was still popular. Uh, but then some people were complaining that they couldn't, and I don't understand. I mean, what's the website's really, it's actually easier on the website. You don't have to do anything. You just pay. As opposed to you know having to write stuff in the in the uh, notes and all that. But yeah, unfortunately, it does take a while. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to get on tomorrow. We'll see, guys. I might, but I'm probably leaning towards taking the night off tomorrow. I need a day off. Since we're doing these, I got this one out of the way. If I can fill nobility, ideally, I could get that one done tonight, too, and then I could take tomorrow off. So get nobility filled. There's uh, eight spots left in that. We can do that next. Is what I can post it up on the screen in a few minutes. Oh, yeah, we did that. We did Eminence tonight. We will try to do it on Monday again, I think, our next Eminence.
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nice one there. Dominator, Lionel Messi, Argentina. Four of ten. Sick one there. Congrats, Argentina. Four of ten. Uh, Austin, save freedom. There you go, Austin. Congrats, buddy. I'm not sure, Mario. Was it supposed to come out this week? I don't even, you know, I hadn't been contacted about that. I kind of hadn't really kept a close eye on that. When was it supposed to be released? To 149, Guardado. I can ask on Monday. I just... Uh... I should probably keep a better eye on the release dates of products for my own sanity. Uh, in this product, Costa Rica... Uh, $22 for Costa Rica and what product, Nofu? I, I'm not sure what you're talking, what product you're talking about. Barcelona Suarez. Lorenzo Insigne. Seventy five Neuer Not a whole lot, uh Kiran, other than they are coming out in August with their first release. Nice one there. Timothy Wea for the US of A men. USA men, Timothy Weah. Wow, that's Austin again. Austin getting some sick numbered cards. Darces has been delayed, huh? To Yeah, hopefully a lot of teams because Tops wasn't doing a very good job of signing big players. 18 of 50, 18 of 50. Harry Kane, double jersey number. Man, I tell you what, Tottenham falling apart. Wow. Ho, 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 ho. OMG! Golasso! Golasso, Golasso, Golasso! Wow, what a card! Golasso para Juve! Cristiano Ronaldo, David Trezeguet, Alessandro Del Piero. Welcome to the breaks, Trent. That is sick. Where's the number on that thing? 
There it is. Six of seven. Six of seven. That is insane. Ronaldo, Trezeguet, and Del Piero. Wow. <laughs> Boom. Let's get a picture of that one. That's probably one of the nicest. Well, that's our. I don't know. The I was partial to the other one we pulled, which was uh, Ronaldo and Baggio. But this one's right up there with it. Wow, wow, wow. Insane hit right there. Congrats, congrats, man. <laughs> That's right. I was, came close. <laughs> All right, there we go. We were due for some monster in this product. We hadn't, you know, relatively speaking, we've been pretty uh, mellow in this product. We hit, uh, I think that was our very first case. We hit the Ronaldo Baggio, and then after that, we haven't really hit much. There's some insane, the greatest thing about this product are those multi card, you know, the three, four auto cards, the triples and the quads and the duels. They're super nice. Arena, Manchester City. Going into the Nick Norton PC. Ronaldo. Yeah, Reyna seems to always go with the case hit. I noticed that. Silva, that's number to 99. Illusions, uh, Real Madrid, Asensio. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know, honestly, in this case, I, in these cases, it's kind of hard to notice because a lot of, they have a lot of like case hit number boxes, but I've had cases that really don't have a case hit. So I'm not sure because whatever that number was, which I'll tell you right now, I'm curious to see what that number was. That was a 7-12 or it could have been a... 7-Eleven. I'm not sure. Usually it's 7-Eleven, I think, is the case hit. Well, this one's a 7-12, so it probably was the 7-Eleven. But we get like two or three 7-Eleven boxes, so I'm curious to see if we can. I think people have pulled more than one multi-auto in the same case, but we shall see. Maybe we got a hot case on our hands.
I actually got... <laughs> I have quite a few trips coming up, uh, Kiran. I've got like five trips coming up, believe it or not. First one is next weekend for Mother's Day. I'm going to be gone for two days to Vegas. That's not really a trip, but... Uh, Wait a minute, what did I do? I just put these over here. I'm like, what the heck did I just do? Yeah, that was my bad. All right, let's put this back over here. Good thing caught myself. My mom lives in Vegas. My mom lives in Vegas, so I'm going there for Mother's Day. Um, yeah, she retired and her husband's been sick, so... You know, he's not doing too well, um, my stepdad. So, got to go. Uh, we're leaving on Saturday. Me and my son, we're going and spending Mother's Day there. And uh, anyway, we well, my wife, and we're going to do Mother's Day here on the 10th because that's Mexican Mother's Day uh, to 75 uh, Ronaldo. So, we'll do Mexican Mother's Day here, and then I'll go do the regular non-Mexican Mother's Day in... Uh, in Vegas but just to let you guys know from the 24th through the 28th of May I'm gonna be in Mexico City England Kyle why don't you bring up do a break from Mexico City no I'm just kidding my wife would kill me this is our time you are not breaking in Mexico City yeah you've never had a Mexican mother. <laughs> well I don't have a Mexican mother but I have a Mexican wife so uh, Cuadrado, Juve, and a Mexican mother-in-law, so I'm well aware of that. Anyway, uh, to answer your question, I got a trip, uh, end of May, I'm going to Mexico City for four days. Uh, a couple weeks after that, I'm going to New York City for three days. Ooh, that's a bummer, see that one's kind of damaged there. See the edge of that. Some of these are a little banged up, sorry, that, at least the, uh, the Ronaldo looks good, which is the more important one. The other one's the one that's banged up. Uh, so, and then I've got, uh, where else am I going? Well, working trip to Chicago for the Nationals. Hopefully I can meet up with some of you guys there. Hopefully some of you are joining me in the at the Nationals in Chicago. I do the Nationals every year, so that's not really a it's a trip. It's not a vacation, but so I'll be working uh, out of sh breaking out of Chicago. I'll be doing quite a few breaks while I'm there. So we'll be breaking from the Panini booth, from the Tops booth at the Nationals in Chicago. And uh what else? Um then my actually summer vacation every summer i like to take the family somewhere and uh, this summer we are doing tuscany and rome so i'm gonna be in tuscany for eight days and in rome for like four four or five days uh, that's uh end of juve bonucci we're gone from end of august to like the first of september But anyway, the moral of that story is next weekend, there will be no breaks on Saturday and Sunday. Napoli. I will break Friday, and then I will break Monday. But nothing Saturday and Sunday. So two days off for me next week. Yeah, so I'll be in Vegas. I'm going to go hang out with the Blez Bros. And 32 of 149. Any of you guys break with the Blez Brothers? They do, uh, they don't do soccer, but they do everything else. To 100 the pie.
No, I just do soccer. I was contemplating doing basketball. I don't know. I might... Oh, by the way, May the 4th be with you. May the 4th. Uh, speaking of May the 4th, I was... Uh, Star Wars was another one I was contemplating. Maybe doing a couple of Star Wars breaks here and there. See how it went. I don't know if any of you guys are into Star Wars or not. Uh, Alison to 99. Mm, autograph, beautiful game, Jack Butland. Any Star Wars collectors in the crowd? Thanks, Piran. Yeah, I like to travel. That's the only thing is, like, you know, when I'm home, I just can't. I'm always working. Like literally, I mean, you guys know. I mean, for as many hours as I break, I also have to like I'll constantly on Facebook adjusting the stuff shipping packaging i mean literally i'm on 30 40 hours a week so i'm working like 60 70 hours a week um you know and i also happen to have a law firm which you know i don't work i like 80 percent retired out of that but that still takes like five to ten hours a week trying to keep up with that so that's another issue so literally I'm working, you know, 70, 80 hours a week. Not complaining, just there's just very little time to do anything fun. I mean, this is fun, but, you know, non-work related fun. Nice. Carly Lloyd Gold, 666. 54 of 75. Carly Lloyd Gold. Congrats, Servando. So I definitely like to take, like, you know, little trips every few months even if it's just two days so i can get a breather and my wife's just like put your phone down you're not bringing your phone i'm like oh i've got to check it at least every Almost your twenty. Yeah, I used to travel a lot when I was younger too. Believe me, I wish I'm not in my twenties anymore. But yep, when back then, at least my early twenties, because by twenty-seven I was married, and then things kind of slowed down as far as my traveling days were concerned. Yeah, I've been lucky. I've always had family all over the globe and close friends all over the globe to 149. That's the cool thing about breaking, too. Now it's like anywhere I go, like someone was in Europe, you know, I go to the UK, a bunch of guys meet up with me in the UK. I go to, you know, Spain, a bunch of guys meet up with me in Spain. I go, you know, I haven't been to the to Asia yet, but, you know, if I go to Hong Kong or Singapore or, you know, Thailand, those places, I mean, that'd be awesome. The cool thing about this is it definitely uh, made quite a few friends all over the globe. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Well, one thing I was it would be awesome if we could all get together at like the nationals every year. So I'm trying to put together as many people that are coming to the Nationals to get us together just to hang out, grab some drinks, and also I'll, I'll set up a couple of like in-person breaks uh, while I'm there. So obviously I just do the normal breaks on, on the computer through YouTube still, but uh, you know, for those that are going to be at the, at the show live, I'm trying to do some live breaks too.
Oh, that'd be awesome. Next year, you mean like the Euros? Where is it? Is it's all over Europe, right? Is it, aren't they doing like that all over Europe thing this year? Wow, gold. Nice. Gold is gonna be to ten. Uh, two of ten. Arthur, rated rookie. Arthur Gold. That's pretty sick. That would be fun. That would be awesome. Love to like hook up with Panini and do like some Euros breaks from the Euros. That would be so sick. Speed out to ninety nine. Holland and England, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be a fun trip. I'd love to get in on that. Uh, Saul Niguez to 149. Brozovic, Croatia. Marcelo Brozovic. Silva. Blue USA will trap. Chain reaction. Isco. Modric auto. Hey, it's at least something, huh? Brozovic. Oh, yeah, that's yours, right? Croatia is Barundi. Congrats, Kiran. Corentin uh, Toliso. France. Never heard of the guy. Jaden Sancho. How about Belgium? Toby Alderweireld, 25 of 25. I'm glad you like him. There you go. Barazovic. Right there. Got an autograph, Josh Kimmich, Bayern Munich to 99, 37 of 99. Blue autograph for Bayern. Bayern is Trent. Here you go, Trent, man, having himself a nice little break. Joshua Kimmich, Bayern. 37 of 99, 37 of 99. Oh.
Valencia Parejo. Timothy Weya, Brazil, Casemiro, we've got Benton Court to seventy five. Nothing like going to the dentist. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. No, I like it. It's just, I get spoiled. After doing, like, Eminence, it's nice and easy. It's just one of those products that... Uh... This one's actually not so bad now that I'm not shipping, like, everything. But you got to remember, like, those first few days, everybody, they... Some people, like, wanted their base, and they wanted their, like, optic base. I was shipping optic. I mean, literally, it was, like, 3,000 cards a case, almost. That was... It was crazy. First break took me, like, three hours and ten minutes to break. And took my son, like, six hours to sort. It was nuts. Then after that, I was like, guys, this is crazy. I can't do that anymore. I mean, it's, I understand. First couple breaks, they wanted their base cut. You know, like not regular base, but optic base and all rookies and all that stuff. But there's literally, um, like you see, every pack, there's, you know, seven optic base cards per pack, I think. And then there's, you know, three rookies per pack. And then I was shipping all inserts, you know. And there's like six inserts per pack. So basically there's like 15 cards a pack I was shipping. So it was nuts. But now that we're only shipping a... Uh, yeah, it's much like before there'd be three huge boxes. Like, you know, 800 count boxes full. And a little left over. Now I've got it to under one 800 count box. Yeah, I've been selling the inserts as one spot for like 35 bucks shipped. And that's like all these cards right here. These, like, I don't sort like these anymore. There's like a gajillion of them. Anything numbered, I always do. But, you know, like stuff like that. You know, they're basically base cards. Good luck, good luck. Let's pull some sickness. Red, Man City, Benjamin Mendy to 50, 44 of 50. See the insert rookies, I still do ship. But only rookies. And I ship all optic, uh, like, colored cards, too, so. Just 
still a ton of cards that get shipped. Grease Moon. Good thing is, the way they pack it, at least, you can go, like, you know, like, where they are. So it's easier to go through it that way. Thomas Mueller. When I first started breaking it, I didn't know. So I was, like, checking every single, like, showing every single card and reading the names. And it was, like, a three-and-a-half-hour break. Uh, to 25, Thomas Mueller. But now, you know, like, you go a certain amount, that's where the insert is. Then you go a certain amount, then there's the other insert. And the autos are always in the same spots. And the rookies are always in the same spot. When you come to the end of it, there's the optic rookie. Got that. Then there's the insert. And you go a bunch more base cards. Then you got insert, optics, then your optic rookie, and then your insert optic. Baggio, 20 of 75, Legend Series. Red, Dybala, 47 of 50, Argentina. Rookie there. get a couple of autos. I don't think we hit an auto yet in this box. To 100, Dybala. Brazil, Casemiro. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we haven't hit an auto yet in this case. So we have two autos in that stack? Huh. Sometimes we do get shorted, so it's possible we're shorted here. Shorted Marchetti to 99. We got rookie McKinney. There's our autograph there. Beautiful game, Nani. Yeah, do it blindfolded. That's right. Niggas. Yep, sorry guys, looks like we're missing an auto in this one here. Let me just make sure I don't miss anything here. Nada, nada, limonada. One auto in that box. Sorry, guys. It's happened a few times. Sometimes we get three autos in a box, too. So, it's supposed to be two autos. 
on average cover their butt language all right box number six good luck good luck buena suerte vamos here we go Oh yeah, 136 a.m. Got a real late start tonight. We didn't even go live till like almost 11. We need a one on one. So we need we need one of those super factor one of ones. Looks sick. Uh, 99 uh, Tagliafico uh, let's, uh, here. I guess shit. Argentina, Messi. Tony Cruz, uh, 16 of 25, Real Madrid. Hey, Zabi. Not tonight, but here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to post one tomorrow. Uh, remind me, I'm trying to post one before it gets too late in Europe because I know last few times I posted it and it was um, really late. So I'll try to get on and post it earlier. 
I used to do with the other ones. Maybe we can do a earlier morning post or something. Uh, John Brooks. I think next we're going to do... I don't know. The thing is, like, I probably have to do another select too. Like, I can do another five case uh, black gold, but then after that, we'll probably have to do two selects because I have a lot of select and not that much black gold. Juve Merlin Pianic to one forty nine. Hey guys, by the way, if you're new, uh, we've been doing these five case uh, black gold breaks, three case select breaks. Some of the older products that aren't as popular, what I do is in order to get you guys to uh, join, I throw in free stuff uh, with the break, like contests. So I'll give away uh, free signed jerseys of Maradona, Ronaldo, Messi, I don't know, Ronaldinho, guys like that. Uh, we just did an Azar one with had a Ronaldo Brazil and a Eden Azar Chelsea autograph jersey. All jerseys, mostly a couple cleats here and there. Uh, but anyway, that definitely adds a... So even if you buy the worst team that costs like 20 bucks, you still have a chance to hit like a jersey that sells for $300. You know. So uh, anyway, makes it interesting. Helps me move the product that normally I'd have a really hard time moving. And so rather than discount the prices, I leave the prices about where they are usually. Tobin, I still discount them a little bit, but you know, instead I throw in uh, some sick free stuff. Tobin Heath. USA ladies. What happened there? Uh, to 75, Marco Royce. Seventy five Giovanni dos Santos Matthew Lecky, Australia, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. We pulled the one on one of that card in our like very first case, I think. There you go, even the last spot came through. There you go, Mr. Coronaga, Matthew Lecky, Aussies. Kind of looks like uh, a little bit like Van Persie's auto. A little bit Neuer, a little bit Van Persie. A little circle like that. Uh, tomorrow morning is the Chelsea match, right? I got to check my odds for tomorrow. Let's see what we got. I was on a little bit of a hot streak, and now I've been on a little bit of a cold streak. Lost a couple bets in a row. So the count is back down again. So I need to get it back up. 
soccer. English Premier League. All right, Chelsea is minus 300 at home against Watford. Crazy. Six boxes down, six to go. Yeah, Chelsea starts in four hours. You're right. Just keep breaking. Might as well not sleep. Just keep going. I don't know. Can Chelsea beat Watford by two? I'm happy if they beat him by one. I like it. Let's go. Odds check. Uh, what is that? Odds check. Uh, I use, uh, I mean, there's a couple websites, but mainly I use Bet US, Bet Us, or Bet US. It's not the best for soccer, though. I only should find a better website for soccer, because it has soccer, but it's mainly about the US sports. A triple parlay Chelsea, Arsenal, and Man U for them to win. So, just to win, I don't like betting the minus one and a half because it's very hard. You know, you never know if they can win by two goals. That's kind of hard. I got screwed on that with Liverpool today. I had Liverpool minus one and a half, they barely won. Uh, to 149, Neymar. S.A. will trap to 149. There's our autograph. Nice. Giovanni Dos Santos, Mexico. Little Mexican auto.
to 50. Benzema. Hello. Yeah. I clearly don't. They lost. Padres lost. The OC was happy. Yeah, exactly. No, I know. It happens all the time, Kiran. Believe me, I know. I actually do a lot better with soccer, though, because I feel with soccer, it's a lot more predictable than... The thing is, with the U.S. sports, with that betting line, it's so damn hard, you know, because they put the line, like, right there where you don't know whether to bet this side or that side. It's like... Again, soccer is not easy either, but to me, it's like a little bit more... You have a little bit more control and predictability. Especially, I, I generally like to do two-team parlays. I don't like to do more than two teams. Three teams max. But generally, I'll do like, you know, two-team parlays, you know, kind of like if I feel good about one team and then try to parlay it with another team that I'm like almost sure is going to win. As long as the odds aren't like six, seven hundred or something, like, you know, as long as they're 300 or less. Um, anyway. It's been working out pretty good. I mean, at least I've been holding my own, and I'm up a little bit, not getting my butts kicked. Whereas with the U.S. sports, I get my butt kicked in those sports. Kevin DeBrona. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know it better, and, I, and and honestly, I think it's. I find that it's a little bit more. You know, I'm not saying you win all the time, but you know, I win enough that it keeps me afloat. Terror to 50. And honestly, it gives me something to run. I mean, if I'm watching like Brighton play, you know, Huddersfield, if I don't have money on it, you know, kind of boring to watch. But when you have money on a team, it makes any game interesting. Kind of like watching breaks when you have teams and don't have teams. <laughs> Oops, wrong stack. To 75 magicians, Isco, 5 of 75. Illusions. Aguero, uh, 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 illusions. There's that Kingsley dude again. Beautiful game. Byron, Byron hitting a couple of autos there for Trent. I just, Tottenham's, I mean, Ajax been playing so good that yeah, can't see uh, Tottenham beating them the way they're playing lately. And Tottenham fell apart. With the sun with that, that was kind of just stupid today. They may end up out of the Champions League. I mean, it was unbelievable. I thought they're like a lock, but if Chelsea wins tomorrow, they're up. And then you know, Tottenham's got to get a result that last match. I don't know who they're playing, but I mean, they got their butts kicked to. A bunch of teams that they shouldn't have lost to. I think what six in a row they lost on the road or something. Yeah. Sun's out because of two yellow cards, or what? What's the deal? Or can he play? Well, I know he's he's out of the EPL now because of that red card, but can he not play in the Champions League either? Because I mean, they don't have Kane. Yeah, they're hurting. It's a 75, Ryan. It's a bummer. I really want to see Liverpool. As much as I'm not a Liverpool fan, I would have liked to have seen Liverpool advance. Uh, 
But yeah, the odds think are 15 to 1 now in favor of Barca. Can't see Liverpool beating Barca 4-0. Yeah, it seems that way, huh? They played so well against Real and against uh, Juve. Who was it they beat last time? They beat Juve? Or who? Turning into like a cakewalk for Barca. But I could see Ajax beating Barca. I mean, they beat everybody else. I see him beating Barca too. Wouldn't be uh, super surprising to see Ajax beat Barca. Would have been a great break before the tournament. I mean, before the you know round of 16 or something to bet Ajax to win it. I'm sure you could have got some really good odds when they were matched up with Real Madrid. Leroy Sané to 100. Two fifty to one. Wow, it's crazy. Verratti to Sidibe to 50.
Yeah, Lester, that was nuts. If anybody would have pet that, that was crazy. Pavon, 18 of 25. Pavon. Napoli, Maradona, 7 of 75. Still haven't pulled a Napoli, Maradona auto yet either. To 100, Company, Belgium, Preferred, Sonny. There's a beautiful game, auto. Good luck, good luck. Who's it going to be? Oh, nice. Diego Simeone, Atletico de Madrid. Well, they had coaches in the beautiful game. Atletico, Simeone, coach. Looking good in his little suit. Who got Atletico in this? Brad King, Atletico. $29 Atletico spot. Yeah, but 15 million, you figure that's nothing compared to the amount that was bet on Manchester United and Chelsea and Arsenal. And that was probably like, they probably killed it that year. Because honestly, who in their right mind would bet? I don't know. Seemed like a. Imagine a lot of like ten, twenty dollar, fifty dollar bets they had to pay out. Ali Long, USA Ladies, Road to France. Seventy five, Zach Stefan. Seventy 
ooh, 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 uh -huh. Illusions. Is the group still watching by any chance? Rich, are you watching? Probably not. I'll have to text him. See if he wants to do his personal boxes of Bundesliga Chrome. The last two boxes. To 100, Rakitic. Explosive, Ronaldo. Chesney to 149. 75 months. Seventy five Bellotti, Italy, preferred in Guedes. Oh, there's our autograph Matt Miazga, USA.
75 Ronaldo. Beautiful game, Benjamin Heinrichs. Monaco. There you go. Somebody was talking about Monaco before this game. There you go. Beautiful game, Benjamin Heinrichs. Monaco. So, 99, Toby Alderweld. I think that's going to do it for this trash bag, guys. i got to replace my trash bag because it's not going to fit three more boxes worth of trash. better three boxes left guys three boxes left marathon brick is gone there so I might get a couple more cases of this stuff guys I don't know we'll see Right, seventy five percent done. Good way to look at it. All right, here we go. Last three bucks. Let's 
75 Juve Bonucci, rookie Arthur, rookie Optic, Chrome. Hurricane. To 100 Havertz, Germany. Illusions, Jesus. Action Golova Monaco to ninety nine Kimmich Byron eight of ninety nine. Marquinhos to seventy five Courtois McKinney Exponential power, Arturo Vidal, 4 of 10 gold for Barcelona. Barcelona in this one, Mariela. I said there, sorry, Mariela, Barcelona has been very slow in this break. We can remedy that. Spain, De Gea to 149. That should have an auto on this. There it is. Jesus Corona, Porto. Jesus Corona Porto and Porto Juan there you go a little PC love Mexico Nacho to
All right, last well, two boxes. Let's do this. Text on groups too. There you go. Oh, crazy how many texts I got tonight. All right, here we go. Yeah, light and turn. All right. I can, man. I have some tunes. I'll sing for you guys. Thing that sucks is I can't play tunes because usually I like to play tunes, but every time I do that, my breaks get banned by YouTube for copyright violations. Fifty-eight of ninety-nine Lukaku. So anytime I like, I put music on in the background. Like as soon as I post it, like the next day, it'll be banned in like almost every. Usually in the U.S. they're okay, but. Most other countries, they get banned because, you know, I'm playing, like, whatever song it is. I'm sure one of them has some kind of copyright violation. And uh, I'm screwed. Then you guys can't watch the break. I mean, you can watch it live, but you can't watch the recording. I'll sing it. Yeah, we can. I can do that. I could sing. That's fine. Although, you know, sometimes I'm so pitch perfect on my singing that it gets banned for copyright violations because they think it's the true artiste that is performing. Ooh, look at that. That looks like it might be gold. Bas Dost. It is. 5 of 10. Bas Dost. Sporting. Gold. My true artistic ability. Bastos Gold. Nice. City Aguero to 100. You guys think Man City could fumble these last two games? You think there's any chance they're gonna? They've got to give away the championship now at this point. One of those last two games. Although it's the EPL, so anything can happen in any match. But I find it hard to believe they'll give that one up. To 149, Casemiro. Yeah, I feel bad for Liverpool. They really did play well this year, and they just missed out by one point. To 75, Matteo Darmian. They actually have a lot more wins. They just have too many ties. If they were playing under the old rule, two points for a win, one point for a tie, Liverpool would be ahead by quite a bit. Matteo Darmian. I thought it's all over. Didn't uh, didn't uh, what's the name of the team? Was a Car Cardiff uh, screwed up? Cardiff lost, so isn't it like done? 
I thought uh, Cardiff's relegated already and Brighton's safe. That's what hurt their chances too, because if Cardiff would have won, then... Yeah, I think it's all done. I think it's all basically... The only thing Brighton... Well, yeah, I mean, Brighton's going to be up next year. They still... It's still the EPL, you know. They're professionals. I'm sure they're not going to roll over to 149 Buffon. But... The ball is round, they say. So anything can happen. Richarlison, oh, did you see that goal he scored? Richarlison. Who does he play on? Was it Crystal Palace or who's Richarlison? I don't know. He scored an amazing goal yesterday, today, whenever it was when they were playing. To 75, Spain, Alcantara. Ooh, there's an auto. Who's it going to be? And it's numbered to 99. Auto number to 99. Paco Alcacer for Dortmund. Paco, Paco. Oh, it was for Everton. Yeah, then it was an Everton goal. I, I forget who he was. I, I, he scored like an amazing goal a couple of days ago. I think, yeah, it was for Everton. That's who it was. Who, I can't remember who Everton was playing, but maybe was it Man U or I forget who they beat up on someone pretty good. box. And so Chelsea starts in like three and a half hours. And then we got Arsenal Brighton. Huddersfield and Man U also starts in three and a half hours. Man City is tomorrow is on uh, Monday. They're minus 650 against Leicester. So, well, basically, that tells me they're saying that they're six and a half to one favorite to win. So, that means there's like a one in seven chance that they will not win. If the odds makers are correct, or one in six and a half to be precise. They're saying there's a one in six and a half chance that they will not win. Yeah, exactly, in 5,000 seasons, and it happened.
And I thought Liverpool was going to get the pressure on at least. Didn't look good against Newcastle. can't send like Salah and Firmino and Mane on loan to Brighton for a game. I can loan you guys, these guys, for uh, one game. Uh, Asakibar to 149. As great a season that Liverpool had, they kind of, the last few days, I don't know, that match with Barca kind of fell apart. They deserve better than 3-0, but Messi was just unbelievable. Stones. Declan Rice. Room. I hope so too. If that's where he's going, if he wants to move on over to Chelsea, that'd be fine. Sad part is like ninety nine percent uh, Hazard is gone. Germany just hit a four of five. Leon Goretzka four of five. Congrats, Germany. Germany was part of the random. Went to Dan. Yeah, I know that should. I mean, it should have easily been one-one, and then it would have. The first fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty minutes of the second half, they were just pounding on Barca, but you know they couldn't finish, and then you know Messi had a couple of moments, and the way they were attacking, I mean, they were vulnerable. Could have easily been five nothing too at the end there. I mean they're lucky they only walked out three nothing down because there are like two chances in those last like extra minutes that Barca could have easily scored another goal or two. Yeah, three one. That's what I was thinking. If it was three one, they had a chance because they really do. I mean they really at home. I could see them beating Barca two nil with you know it wouldn't be a surprising result at all. But 3 0 is a tall order. It will be an interesting game, though. It's going to be a wide open game. Because you figure they're going to be just gung ho from minute one, attacking like. And which is going to leave them vulnerable. And as soon as Barca is going to score, so you figure they're going to have to score five goals to win. It's going to be hard for Barca not to score when they're attacking like that. Diara. Yeah. Diara PSG. Yeah, I could see that match being like 4 2 Liverpool or something like that. I, yeah. I wonder what the over under is in that match. I'll go over on there. To 
75, Costa. Usman Dembele. To 100, Spain, Suso. Runners three. Hmm, I like the over on that. I like the over three. Yes, Andre, I'm planning on uh, listing another one tomorrow, I believe. Forty-nine Iguain. Last stack. Hopefully, we should have one more auto in this stack. Mbappe to ninety nine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be short and auto. Rated rookie to ninety nine. Timothy Weya. Short a couple of autos in that one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, several autos short. Ready? We'll just do recap everything numbered to fifty or less. Um, here's some of the stuff I top loaded that's numbered higher. We had a junior to one forty nine rookie. We had uh, two Weya rookies to 99. 
had an Mbappe to 99, a couple of Ronaldos to 75. All right, number to 50. We had Rakitic, Suso, Robin, Busquet, Rajic, Kane, Parejo, Dybala, Mendy, uh, Kara, Rookie, Benzema, Brooks, Sidibe. Uh, canvas to 25, we had Belgium, Alderweld, press proof. Black optic, we had to 25, Mueller, uh, Kroos, and Pavon. Uh, these didn't make the wall there. Bastos, the number to 10. We had Goretzka, press proof number to 5, 4 or 5. Autographs, we had uh, Diara, beautiful game. Heinrichs, Kuman, uh, Lecky, Nani, Butland, Reina, and Cointrao. Then uh, to 75, we had Darmian. Optic autos, we had Dos Santos, Corona, Miazga, and Brozovic. To 99, we had Kimmich and Alcacer. Road to France, we had Morgan Bryant. This is like four. This is the lowest lady auto we've ever had. Morgan Bryant, Tobin Heath, and Ali Long. I think our lowest was six. This one, we only had four. I think the missing autos were probably mostly ladies. Uh, all right, we had to 10, Exponential Power, Arturo Vidal, that's Barca, to 10, Argentina, Lionel Messi, Dominator, uh, to 10, Arthur, Rookie for Brazil, beautiful game, Diego Simeone to 50, Gold Auto, Carly Lloyd to 75, this case was all about one card. This card right here, six of seven, the beautiful game. Trezeguet, Del Piero, and Ronaldo. That's a pretty sick card. That's Trent. That case was all about that one card. Make sure that goes in one of these so nothing happens to it. Yeah, not being close. To... Not yet. Who knows? All right, let me end this tape and uh, 